What's up guys, welcome, new video, another one, another VE, another cam kit, exactly the same kit we have been doing for ages now, full CNC heads, Black Ops exhaust, VCM OTR, and a Crow 1212 cam with all our regular other upgrades, this is a 6080 car, so it is getting one of our Red Diamond 2800 converters, uh, and yeah, really really keen to see what this car does. Sorry guys, had the old lens on the GoPro in wide, I don't know why that happened or how that happened, I never film in wide, so... Thanks GoPro for that. Hopefully the audio is picking up at the very least. Anyway, yeehaw. Um, so this is a DOD car, so we'll get a full DOD of the lead and everything else. Uh, so this actually was an ex, I'm pretty sure it's an ex highway patrol car from New South Wales. So this is not actually a factory chlorophyll car. And even the color, it's not actually even the factory chlorophyll color that it's been painted. It's very, very close. It's a beautiful color. It's a really, really nice car. But um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's much more chameleon-y, much more pearlescent. Um, changes color a lot more than the factory chlorophyll cars. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice car. I'm a big fan. So Series 2, we've already put coilovers in it, so it's got some BC Racing coilovers. Our boy at the end of the road here, Paul, owns Optimum on Garage. He's a BC Racing coilover dealer. So we got him to organize coilovers. He put them in and set them up himself because it's a bit out of our niche. Uh, so we are just gonna drop the front a little bit more for him uh, as a, at the customer's request. But yeah, we've already got coilovers in this thing, which already happened. So I just wanted to show that off. Now, unfortunately, because of the coilovers, we do have to roll the guard slightly, which the customer is more than happy for us to do. Uh, however, we didn't get our pre-runs on the dyno prior to putting the coilovers in. So in order to save us having to put this on the hoist, pull the wheels off, roll the guards, put the wheels back on, Get it back off the hoist, onto the dyno, etc, etc. It turns into a pretty big screw around. Um, so the plan is to actually put our dyno wheels for Commodores on this thing so that we can run it up without having to worry about rolling the guards at this point. And then once it's on the hoist and we're pulling the engine and getting everything ready for the cam kit, then we can look at rolling the guards uh, and we don't have to sort of double handle everything just to get the, our, our pre-runs. So our wheels will stay on it for the post-runs as well so to keep some consistency in the data. So you can see the difference, but um, as we know and as we expect, these things do pick up around that 110, 120 horsepower from factory with all the mods that we are doing. So that is what we're expecting to see. Let's have a look. Yeah. So guys, much like the last few, I won't be filming super in depth of the actual cam kit process because we've done that so many freaking times. It's just regurgitating all of the same content. So we're sort of just going to be blitzing through this, blasting through it, hopefully make a nice, quick, short and simple, sweet video where you can just see the results and see the data for yourself of what to expect when you do these modifications and where you can buy it all. You can go buy it all from our website, ospwayhouse.com. So head over there and have a look. Let's see what happens. Right, yo guys, all sorted. As you can see, 291, 294. So yeah, around that 290, a bit over 290. That's what we're starting with. So let's see what we can do with this big girl. Righto guys, skip ahead a bit. This is where we're at, or where Bo's at with it. Uh, we did have a lot of issues getting this engine out of the wagon. Uh, story is it's apparently an ex-patrol, highway patrol car from New South Wales. I've got a feeling it must have been somewhere near the beach because a lot of the stuff in there was corroded and it's not the first time we've had this happen, but the dowels that uh, locate the engine to the gearbox belly housing were actually really, really seized in and it was really hard to split the engine from the gearbox. So that was really difficult, but we did get it out. Here it is, um, Bo's got our 1287 in there, it's already degreed in. As you can see, Duro timing, all the rest, it is a level two kit. Uh, we've got a DOD delete valley plate to go on, all the rest, and our LS7 lifters and everything that normally goes with our level two kits. Uh, so, Bo pulled the DOD cam out of this thing and one of the cam lobes was absolutely cooked. So, this poor old thing was not long for this world in the state that it was in. <laughs> um, it was, uh, it was gonna, Gonna do a lifter soon enough, the way that, that cam load was on one of the DOD lifters. So anyway, not to worry, because they'll all be gone. We've got a brand new high pressure GM oil pump to go on as well. Um, and everything else that goes with our level two kits. Uh, a billet barber will be going in, uh, pickup brace. Oh, the boys already put one in, so. Already got a billet barbell in there in the rear there. Pickup brace, um, yeah, everything else. Push rods, L7 lifters, CHE trunnion upgrade. Heads are already set up. Um, yeah, we're ready to pretty much start going back together and get this thing back in the car. Uh, all ARP head bolts for this one, ARP crank bolt, ARP cam bolts, um, yeah, all the standard stuff. We'll do a piston to deck height, we'll do, we'll CC a chamber on the head, we'll get our static compression. Uh, Bo's already degreed in and logged the cam timing and, um, yeah, all the standard things that always go with our level two kits. It's pretty standard, it's pretty repeatable. It's pretty much the same thing over and over. This one is getting CNC ported heads as well. That's why we've already got a set to exchange that are already set up, ready to go. So 
CNC heads. These ones here. Beautiful, nice CNC LS3 heads. Look at those ports. Bloody beautiful. So, yeah. Should be happy days. Can you see what this one does? All right, a few last little measurements to do this morning. Bo just CC'd one of these chambers. They're actually um, nice, and, nice and tight, nice and small. Nice little combo. CC them chambers, piece the deck, with the deck bridge, start smacking heads on and the yee Piston Piston decks, eh? Right there. Yep. About right. Righto, guys, Bo smashed this out. We're ready to go back in the car. So the boys just got the car back inside. We're just getting ready for it to receive this now. So as always, guys, out with the old converter, or as always with this cam, I should say, out with the old converter, in with our new red diamond converter. Spect stalled 2800 to suit this cam. Nice little converter. And with that will come our new PWR external oil cooler for the trans fluid as well to suit the converter so this car as well is getting new engine mounts um mo honestly most of these cars end up with new engine mounts because usually when we pull them out they're cooked and it's the time to replace them while they're apart righto guys so i'm here very late today because i was sick again this morning um last week of trading and i've been smacked with gastro <laughs> been in and out all week it's been terrible just what we needed but anyway bose smack this out it's all back together we're ready to go New exhaust is on, new OTR, new trans cooler. Um, so we've got our full Black Ops exhaust, same one we have been putting on basically all of these lately. We've been really loving this exhaust lately. Uh, so what the boys are doing at the moment now is getting the coilover set up. So uh, it's sort of how low it worked, worked with the standard exhaust, but with the twin three inch, you lose a lot of room underneath the diff. And we do have, you know, we've had issues in the past with other cars uh, with just destroying that part of the exhaust. Um, so we need to lift it a little bit. And then we also still need to roll the guards for the uh, the Simmons to go back on once the once it's all set up. So as you can see, that's our new tips. Both smacked it out, uh, but yeah. So they roll on the guards at the moment to have that sorted out. So hopefully, once it comes off this hoist, gets tuned, it doesn't have to go back on the hoist. We can just put the old wheels or the the, the proper wheels back on it, and it can go on its way. So that's the plan. But anyway. Uh, yeah, keen to see how she goes. Keen to see what it do. Rightio guys, big wags. On the dyno, um, I wasn't here for the 98 tune. It's already pretty much done. We got the E85 tune to go still. But, yeah, I missed the 98 tune because I wasn't here. Because I was sick as uh, last week of trading for the year. And I got smashed with gastro. Whole house got smashed with gastro, which is exactly what we needed. So... What a way to send out 2023, which has been a horrid year. With gastro the whole last week of trading. Anyway, we look forward to better things for 2024. But nonetheless, 98 tune, spat out. Graph's not there, but I'll show you when we fit. Classic GoPro things, battery went flat at 29%. Yeehaw. But anyway, 445 horsepower at the wheels is what it spat out. We'll talk about that after the 85 tune's done. And I've got that. Radio boys and girls, big VE wags, pretty well sorted. Just still got to do all our street tuning and box tuning and stuff on the street. As always, this is what we ended up with uh, on the 98, 445, on the E85, 455. And as we talked about, when it got here, it was already down on power at 291. So um, again, nice big increase. That's what we're always looking for. Uh, and as we always talk about, only about 10 horsepower advantage on the E85. Uh, we talk about that. I don't want to sound like a broken record and explain it in this video as well, but that is because of a lack of dynamic compression. Because there's only so much static compression, you can get into these engines with a stock piston. So it's just the nature of E85. These engines are just not lock limited with a big cam the way they are. So anyway, I literally just said I wasn't going to explain it and I did anyway. Uh, but anyway, um, again, a little bit less than we normally see. Normally we'd see about 460. I suppose we're only about five horsepower off. Um, but this thing is quite low and you do, once you start getting some weird drive shaft angles and affecting uh, your half shafts and, and shaft angles and stuff, it does start to rob power quite significantly. So I'd say that that is likely where uh, a little bit of our power is going is just in how low the car is uh, and the drive shaft angles. But either way, another one out the door. Last one for 2023. Happy days, guys. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for watching. Smash like, smash subscribe. Head to our store, ospwarehouse.com, if you would like to purchase a cam kit to cam your car yourself. 
This cam was the 1287. This is the exact combo we have re-replicated on so many rectangle port LSs. It is such a good little street combo. This combination of this cam, CNC heads, that converter, this exhaust, and this OTR. Just a really nice little com combination. And the same trans cooler as well that's down there um, to suit the big converter. So it's a really nice little combo for the street. Makes good power. And um, as we've seen, we've turboed this cam. We've supercharged on this cam. This cam responds really well to boost as well. So it is a really nice little street combo. And it's also a really nice little stepping stone to if you, you know, if you do plan on supercharging or something in future, it is also really, really good for that. So we do a lot of these combos with these cams and we recommend them. So thanks for watching as always guys. Smash like, smash subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good Christmas. Happy New Year. Peace out. See you. Bye.